Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, I want to share a video with you today and it's a design team project for Trezor Deluxe. Um, I will pop all the links down below and um, please go visit the store because as you know uh, Lucy is always adding new products to the store so it's always worth going over and checking what, what's new in the store. Okay, so I'm going to share my project with you. Um, so I started off with a book box and this is one of the paper mache ones and uh, first of all what I did is I actually um, covered the whole box in fabric in this embroidered fabric. I didn't paint the box, I wanted the, the craft colour to show through the fabric. Um, so I covered the whole box inside and out in the fabric. Okay, so let me turn it over. Okay, so um, what I did is I found this image and I absolutely fell in love with it. Totally. <laughs> um, let me zoom in. So I transferred it onto some fabric and um, attached that to the box. Okay, let me just... So around it, I actually placed a doily and some small lace from my stash. And then I used this beautiful lace um, to make the frame. I absolutely love this lace. It is so gorgeous. And it just made such a beautiful frame. Um, the lace is... It's this lace. So what I did is I cut two of the sections out and I placed one at the top of the image and then one that way at the bottom of the image and it made a beautiful oval shaped frame. So and it, it, it almost fills the whole the sides of the whole box. So it's absolutely beautiful for making a frame. It's so stunning. Um, and then I just added some tiny flat back pearls into the flowers around the frame. All the way around. I will zoom in so you can see that. So they're really tiny, really tiny flat back pearls that are added onto the flowers. Okay, if I start up here. And then what I did is I added a tiny doily to the, the top of the frame where the leaves are. And then a tiny uh, earring, which is a pearl and diamond earring into the centre here. In, in the corners I've actually used uh, two of the laces and doubled them up. So I used this lace here at the back and then I cut one of these off this gorgeous lace. <laughs> I absolutely love this shape. It looks like a fan and with the scrolls either side it is so stunning. So what I did is I put I layered it so that one sat on top of the other so to get that look. And these are beautiful for corners. Really really stunning and I absolutely love it. And what I did is I added the tiny flat back pearls to this lace also. And then in the centre of the swirls. And I just love how that turned out. So I've done that in both corners. Um, all the way around the outside edge I've added a tiny lace from my stash. And a rhinestone and pearl trim and then a tiny braiding trim all the way around. And I, I love 
how that looks. Okay, so down in this corner, oh, I added the same a doily and the earring at the bottom of the frame, as the same as the top. So in this corner, this is a, um, a flower from my stash. Um, it's actually woolen and um, very, very soft feather fibres. And then I just placed one of these loop flowers um, in the centre and it just looks so elegant and so beautiful. I absolutely love these, these uh, flowers. They are so gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. So, um, yeah, I love how that looks. It looks so soft and beautiful. Okay, in this corner, um, I've used one of the amazing brooches um, from the store. It's it's just stunning, really, really stunning. I mean, Lucy's now selling brooches and buttons, and they are so beautiful. I don't have another one of this one, but f for example, this is another brooch that Lucy sells in the store. They are just gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. And then she has bigger ones like like this. Um, so this was a... I just loved the shape of this and the style of it and I thought it went perfectly with um, this project. So I've just added some um, cotton that I ruffled behind the brooch and some tiny lace from my stash. But then in between I've tucked the, these pieces here. These are from another lace. So I've used, I think, four of these, which is from this lace. So I've cut, I cut four of these out and placed them in here like a fan. And then behind that, there's actually a vintage uh, doily ruffled behind all that and then a feather and I've also tucked in some pearl spray and uh, these gorgeous pearls behind there but if I zoom in you can see so these are the, the lace pieces tucked in here and I just love that you can cut these laces up and take small sections of them and use them in so many different ways um, and then there's a doily here the tiny lace from my stash tucked in between these and then just some pearls and that peeping out here so I, was, I, I quite like how that, that came out and flowed Okay, then I also used one of the laces on the spine of the book because I just loved uh, this lace so much. I thought it was perfect for the spine of the book. It's really stunning, really, really stunning, um, which is this lace here. I will show you them again in a moment. This beautiful lace. It is just gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. Um, so I'm so thrilled how this turned out, really, really thrilled. Um, I had the image in my head what I wanted to do and it actually came out because quite often you start with an idea and it, it changes as you start to make it but this one came out just as I had it in my head so <laughs> I'm really thrilled with that. And I will attach some uh, photos at the end to show you in more detail but I really hope you like it I'll just quickly show you the laces that I used they are so beautiful and amazing and I forgot to show you something on the book box one second all the way around um, 
the box on the side, I used this lace all the way around. I love so much that these can be cut into sections, I really do, I think <coughs> it makes them such great value for money when you um, are using them as appliques because you get so, so much out of them um, and they're just stunning. So those are the laces I used and you can see that I've still got a, a good amount of lace left. So, you know, they do go far. They really do. So please pop over to the store and uh, check out all the new products that Lucy has in store. And um, I really hope you like my projects. And um, I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.